Hi guys and welcome back. Today we have our good friend and customers Raj from Full House Customs, FATM4, in the workshop and he's coming in for a little bit more power. So what we're going to do is fit a set of catless downpipes, even true panel filters and our linear stage two map. He's also asked for us to program uh, some overrun burbles in and delete the cold start for him. This car is Venetian violet, and as you can agree, it's a very stunning color. He also had a set of 660 wheels from us, and he went for a very brave choice on the color of the wheels, which is the crystal amber. I wasn't quite sure about it when he decided to go with the color, because I thought it would clash with the purple, but it looks absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do is dyno the car stock, fit the parts, load in the tune, and then dyno it again, and share the results with you. Okay, so we've dynoed the car in stock format with the full Acura exhaust on it and it made 452 horsepower. The customers told me the car has 97 octane fuel in it because he got stuck and couldn't put the normal shell V power in it. That explains the slightly lower power than we see with the Acura exhaust. So we've got the stock cats out, which are here, and these are the evolved DCAT downpipes that are going to replace them. The main reason the customer is doing this is to get a bit of noise out of the Acura exhaust and also help with the stage two tuning. So we're gonna put the DCAT down pipes back in, tune the car and then run it back up on the dyno and see what power we get out of the car.
So with the downpipes fitted, the inventory panel filters in the airbox and our stage two map loaded, we can have a look at the results. This particular stage two map is our, uh, what I call the linear power map. We do have one that's slightly more aggressive, but remember this car's on 97 octane. When the customer's been here before, um, the car has made like close to 470 stock. Today with um, lower octane fuel, it's done 452. And we've got a peak of 506. But with this map, and this is the one I actually like driving, you can see it makes peak power all the way from five and a half thousand to the red line. So it makes it really enjoyable to drive on the road. Uh, peak power is up just over 50 horsepower. But in the mid range, we've got like 70, 80 horsepower. And the torque's up from around 400, 475 to just over 500 foot pound of torque. But again, a very flat torque curve and very easy to drive. And also with the torque low down, we've mapped the torque in to come in uh, more gradually so it would just get more traction uh, overall it's a good upgrade I hope the customer's happy with it and he's going to come back with 99 octane and we'll read another car and see what power it makes thank you for watching guys um, if you want to watch more of our videos you can watch them over here if you want to watch what youtube suggests that you might like from our videos you can watch them over here um, as always if you haven't already please like our video and subscribe to our channel if you've got any questions for us please drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them for you